Gather Robo Arc. Or some may even know it as Gather Robo. You might have seen him around before. He meant this big, goofy mouth. Just look at it. It makes me want to throw him a bone. Who is a good boy? Anyway, enough about the machine itself. You know what they say, it's what's inside that matters. And that begs the question, what is inside the Ark? Well, you better stay tuned, because that's what we'll be tackling today. Alright, let's kick things off with the pilot of the first unit, which is simply known as Gather Arc. Sporting a lovable Batman haircut, we've got Takuma Nagare. And as you might have already guessed based on his last name, he is none other than the son of the first Gather Unit's pilot, Ryoma Nagare. Following the terrifying events of the Shin Gather Robo manga, Ryoma chose to sever his ties with the Saotome Research Institute for good in hopes of avoiding the apocalyptic future that he was exposed to. He retreated to a secluded forest, where he opened his very own dojo in order to pass on his father's Nagare Ryu style of karate. Sometime before the start of Get Robo Go, Ryoma had a relationship with a woman that he met at a national karate competition, which later led to the birth of our main character, Takuma. It is worth noting that because of the events that transpired in Get Robo Go, Ryoma passed on before his son was born, leaving Takuma's mother to take care of him all by herself, making use of all the little provisions they had left at the dojo. It is believed that Takuma's mother taught him martial arts from a very young age. Thanks to that, he became an unmatched fighter. He quickly became proficient in the Nagare Ryu style of karate, which helped him get out of many dire situations completely unscathed and in turn giving him enough confidence to go around referring to himself as immortal. However, Takuma's hot-blooded personality is not the only thing he inherited from his father. Ryoma had an extreme exposure to Gather Race throughout his life, and as a result of that, Takuma has acquired a certain genetic factor that gives him a special connection to the Gather. This allows him to pilot any of the Gather machines, with the Ark being no exception. Alas, with great power comes great responsibility, and Takuma's connection to the Gather soon makes him a prime target for the American military, coordinated by a shady man who goes by Carter McDonald. Yes, that is the most conspicuously American name in existence, how could you tell? Takuma's mother could immediately tell something was off when these random Americans just showed up at her doorstep uninvited, so she valiantly fought them off, with all of her strength for the sake of protecting her son. In the end, she succeeded at protecting Takuma, but that success came at the cost of her own life. Ever since that day, Takuma has tirelessly spent day and night hunting down his mother's killers. This is a thematic thread that once again connects him nicely to Ryoma, as he too was hunting down his father's murderers before getting involved with the Saotome Research Institute. Takuma's own hunt leads him down the same path as he soon gets recruited by an older Hayato Jin, who was now the last survivor of the original Getha trio, as well as humanity's last hope against the constant attacks of a brand new extraterrestrial threat known as the Andromeda Country. We'll go more in depth into them at a later time. This brings us up to speed with Takuma's history before and at the start of Getha Robo Arc. Up next, it's time to have a look at the pilot of the Getha Robo Khan. He's Takuma's trusty companion, and just like every other tertiary gather unit pilot that preceded him, this man is large and in charge. His name is Baku Yamagishi. Right off the bat, Baku's design is very visually striking. He's covered in Buddhist imagery from head to toe, and let me just say this, I've always found those huge prayer beads that Mon characters in fiction wear like a necklace to be one of the most badass design quirks ever created. As I've mentioned in a previous video from like 3 years ago, his design could have served as the inspiration for Benkei Musashibo from New Get Robo, however the two of them are polar opposites in terms of personality. What is most important to note about Baku is that he is the younger brother of one character you might be somewhat familiar with, known as Masaya Tahir. Apologies in advance if I butchered that pronunciation, this man's name has like 5 different spellings. 
Messiah made his first appearance in Gather Robo Go as a person who possessed a similar connection to the Gather to that of Takuma, except in his case it manifested as this weird foresight ability which made him able to see the future. The manga never goes too deep into what that was all about, so I'm not going to either. The point is, this man created a whole religion around the Gather Race called the Green Earth and soon began acting as its guru. That should be enough to explain the religious implications of Baku's design. We later find out that, just like his older brother, Baku also possesses a genetic factor that connects him to the Gather, albeit a much lesser one, so no cool clairvoyance abilities for our poor boy Baku. Regardless of that, he's still able to pilot the Gather machines with ease and proves himself to be a formidable pilot alongside Takuma. He has also proved himself to be a fairly good mechanic. In Chapter 1 of the Gather Robo Art manga, he is able to hack the Gather D2 without breaking a sweat. Perhaps this aspect of his character is a nod to Guy Daido from Gather Robo Go, who was also known for his amazing skills as a mechanic. There is not much else to say about Baku. He's a level-headed guy and even acts as the voice of reason among the group at times. Rounding up this new generation trio is the pilot of the Gather Kirik, the cunning and mysterious lizard man known as Kamui Sho. Kamui is a half-human, half-dinosaur hybrid who was created by mixing the DNA of Emperor Gore with that of a human woman. I'll leave the implications of that statement up to your imaginations. His creation was part of an experiment conducted by the Dinosaur Empire in an attempt to use human DNA in order to make the future generations invulnerable to gather rays. This experiment proved itself to be largely unsuccessful, as Kamui was the only one of those test tube babies that even made it to adulthood. He is also the younger half-brother of the Dinosaur Empire's current leader, Emperor Gore III. Unlike any regular dinosaur, Kamui's mixed blood grants him superhuman strength and reflexes. Naturally, this also makes him an excellent pilot, seeing as how he was able to pilot the Gather all by himself when he needed to. Kamui is the most logical and calculated member of the team. He talks in a sophisticated way and looks at everything through analytical lens. Despite his cold, machine-like exterior, we also get to see his more compassionate side in the latter half of the manga. He's shown to care deeply about his mother, and all he wishes is to be able to live a peaceful life alongside her. There's certainly a lot more to say about Kamui, but we'll save that for later. That about does it for an introduction to Gather Arc's team. It certainly has the most unique dynamic we've seen in the Gather team thus far. You have the son of the guy who destroyed the Dinosaur Empire being forced to work together with the son of the Dinosaur Empire's leader. It's like these two were born to be rivals. Even then, this rivalry has its fair share of sweet moments like when Takuma reunites Kamui with his mother. Seriously, check this out! Even though the two of them are antithetical in all aspects you can possibly think of, it's this mutual love for their material figures that gives them common ground and helps them relate to one another. What kind of heartless person doesn't feel touched by this moment? At least a little bit. Come on, man. Maybe I'll cover this scene more thoroughly some other time, but for now, I digress. Gather Robo Arc takes the classic Gather formula of having each pilot act as the spirit, the brains and the brawn of the machine respectively and polishes it to absolute perfection. So, who's your favorite Gear Robo Arc pilot and why? Are you a Takuma kind of guy? Maybe a Baku connoisseur? Or perhaps even a Kamui appreciator? Please let me know in the comments. That brings us to the end of day one of this little event I'm doing called the Gear Robo Arc Week, where every single day for a week straight I'll be uploading a video related to Gear Robo Arc. Be sure to check out all the other videos in this series, which will be on my channel of course, as well as in a neatly organized playlist that you can find down in the description. That's all of me for now, I'll see you next time. Howdy, today I'm Scarlet Brick Doll. So I heard your son's been infected by that ghetto rays. It must be them 5G towers, I tell you what. Back about that, we don't have them fancy schmancy legs around here. Now, if only you can give me a son real quick, and I'm sure I can do something with him. So come on, just uh, hand him over and uh...